It was a sigh of relief for most of the needy students in Wajir South constituency. After the area member of parliament, Dr. Omar disbarred Kenya shilling 23 million baht of funds through the national government CDF. The area lawmakers issued the check to over 2,000 learners from different schools and learning institutions in the area. We're quite happy that today we are paying 23 million uh, shillings, uh, particularly dedicated to education. Uh, that is in terms of uh, bursaries. And therefore, we're quite elated that this is a very important venture and we want to see the next generation benefit from that uh, funding education through the CDF uh, that we have established uh, and, and, and brought forward to the people. I am glad here that uh, the DCC for Wajir South uh, is, is, is inaugurating this with me as well as the uh, uh, constituency funds manager. And therefore, that is where we are today and, and the headmaster uh, for, uh, or the principal for uh, Lehele Secondary School uh, is here today to witness uh, that we have provided this for the uh, students coming from Wajir South. I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day. There were many people who were in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day. So, this is a great deal. Dr. Omar called on his national government CDF committee to focus on community-based projects so as to ensure that all residents are involved in the developmental agenda. Now, this, this is an important thing to the parents uh, whose children are studying and educa in education, uh, either tertiary or secondary schools. Uh, and it is a time, it is a timely one. And this is a timely fund simply because... Uh, it is a time when there is COVID-19 uh, ravaging this country and, therefore, and many other parts of the world. And therefore, what also is important as well is to see that the economy that has been reeling uh, for the parents who have been suffering, uh, the government has decided to support us uh, to ensure that these funds are available for those children. And therefore, we want to thank the government of President Uhuru Kenyatta for also contributing to the support to ensure that students have gone back to school, to universities and to college so that they can study through the government funding CDF. And, and therefore, this is, this is an important difference. It will make an important difference uh, to the communities. And uh, it is a very wonderful thing because one of the fundamental principles of good governance is compliance with the rule of law. And therefore, in launching this uh, uh, buzzer here, uh, the Honorable Member of Parliament has actually complied with the rule of law. Uh, he has also ensured that there is public participation in uh, coming up with the beneficiaries of the list because all and sundry were consulted. The South lawmaker father announced that through his CDF, he was planning on constructing more secondary schools, tertiary and vocational centers to ensure residents access affordable education. The area member of parliament in his Meet the People Tour launched an ambitious constituency home electrification program in Lehele sub-county. One of the new transformers that we have in Lehele now, and this is through the, uh, uh, the rural electrification uh, that has uh, put on this. Uh, there is fund that is given to every constituency uh, for, for, for such funding. And that is where we are coming into now, that, uh, uh, that uh, rural electrification has reached so far. And now we are at Lehele, uh, that is under Wajir South sub-county. Uh, what we are doing right, right now is to test and see that these transformers are working and they have been brought, uh, you know, as expected, uh, to ensure that uh, electricity has reached the, the villages and the rural areas. Speaking during the launch, Dr. Omar assured the resident that just as he had pledged during his campaigns, his leadership will prioritize infrastructure development as a key piece in boosting the economy and creating job opportunities for the locals. What we need particularly right now, is that uh, uh, by Ramadan, we need to be getting, uh, you know, uh, the electricity in every house. So about 34 houses, households, that is, is being expected to be receiving uh, the, uh, the meters. Uh, that's what uh, uh, the manager and, uh, and, and his team have, have told me that. Uh, and therefore, we expect that uh, those electricity will be running in that, in, in that part of the village of, of, of Lehele. Suleiman Abdikadir, Kalsen Media, Ojia County.